Hello everyone and welcome to our presentation on multi-agent path planning or in short MAPF. This is a presentation for the project proposal for the motion planning course. And my teammates, uh, myself Dheeraj Bogisetti, my teammates Yuan Huang and Shiva Surya Lola will be presenting. So this is a project summary. There are different project components like problem description, application impacts, the related work, our methodology, the platform and evaluation metrics uh, we are going to use. We will be discussing uh, each of these components in detail in this presentation. So the objectives of our learning for this project are, we want to learn and implement the state-of-the-art algorithms for multi-agent pathfinding. We want to learn how to simulate the agents in a Pygame interface. And we want to learn how to integrate the Pygame simulator with ROS using an Access Server client. And we also want to learn how to benchmark and evaluate the algorithms which we develop using different uh, metrics proposed by the literature. So this is a problem description. And as you can see on the right in the picture, uh, we initially have a 2D grid with some free cells and block cells. The gray uh, cells are the block cells. Those are the obstacles and white cells are the free cells. And we have N number of agents uh, here in the picture. We can see they are in circle with different colors. So the problem uh, statement is to move the agents from their initial starting position to their goal position simultaneously uh, by minimizing the task completions time or it's called mix span. So we have certain constraints to these problems. So during each time step, each robot can either wait in its cell or it can move to its neighboring cell. So there are four uh, main uh, movement directions. Those are North, East, West, South, and the robots are not allowed to collide. A robot, a robot is determined to be collide when it moves into a cell of uh, another robot. Or, and also, it can, both of the robots cannot move into uh, a cell uh, of the other robot. So the application impacts of these are huge. Uh, the map of problem is a very interesting uh, a problem in the domain of artificial intelligence. The first main application is uh, robotics. map of can be used uh, to coordinate multiple robots to work together in a warehouse, a manufacturing plant, or in a hospital. We can, uh, by using map of algorithms, we can ensure that the robots can move efficiently without colliding, and also reduce the risk of damage to the robots and the environment. The second most uh, uh, domain, like which has maximum applications, is gaming, where uh, in multiplayer games, we have multiple NPC characters which navigate a shared environment. So we can use the map of algorithms to ensure that each character moves in an optimal way, avoiding the obstacles and the other characters. This makes the game more engaging and challenging for the player. And the next application is in supply chain management. The map of algorithms can be used to optimize logistics and supply chain management problems. For example, they can be used to coordinate the movement of goods and vehicles within a warehouse or between different uh, locations of warehouse to optimize for time and distance, thereby minimizing the delay. So the related work uh, regarding this map of problem is as follows. So the paper, uh, multi-agent pathfinding, definition variance and benchmarks provides a high level overview of the complete map of problem. This paper proposes a unified terminology which describes and classifies the current map of variants. And it also established a new grid map of benchmark, which consists of different sets of maps, which we will be using uh, in our uh, project uh, to compare the, our algorithms with these benchmarks. And the next uh, paper is called the conflict-based search. This is a state-of-the-art optimal planner uh, for the classical map of problem. And further, this conflict-based search can be improved by using a technique called symmetry breaking. So symmetry breaking can resolve multiple uh, permutations of a pairs of uh, constraints which are in conflict and it can exponentially increase the efficiency of uh, conflict-based search. So the methods which I described in the past slide were actually applicable only to point robots, that is each robot can only occupy one cell at a given time in the map. But uh, the literature also describes a variant of MAPF called the large agent MAPF, where a, a, a robot can occupy more than one cell at a given time. So uh, there is a state-of-the-art optimal software for these large agent MAPF problems called multi-constraint CPS. 
So this multi-agent CBS has been uh, extended with the help of mutex propagation. So this mutex propagation um, presents a different kinds of uh, different types of symmetry breaking techniques and conflict selection strategies that enhance the MCCBS and exponentially improve the success rate and runtime of the algorithm. So the current state of the art is, is a technique called the uh, rolling horizon collision resolution. Uh, this technique was developed in collaboration with USC and Amazon Robotics. This uh, method is capable of producing high quality paths for up to thousand of thousand robots, significantly performing existing methods in the literature. So the proposed method uh, is to implement three main state of the art algorithms called conflict-based search, symmetry breaking, and mutex propagation. We intend to simulate these algorithms and the agent's motion using Pygame. We then extend this Pygame simulator by integrating it with ROS. We then uh, evaluate the performance of the above implemented algorithms using different benchmark maps and comparing with, with uh, different metrics like the number of agents and the different and the success rates. So we experiment and evaluate uh, the algorithms which we develop on different types of maps. Uh, you can see in, in the pictures below uh, three different types of maps, maps which we took from the publicly available uh, map of benchmarks. And the evaluation metric which we are going to use uh, is the success rate, which is defined as the maximum number of instances for a given map and map of solver can solve while we increase the num number of agents in the map. So these are our deliverables. So the baseline deliverables are, uh, we are going to deliver a ROS-based Pygame interface that simulates the agent and a performance evaluation report of the different planning algorithms and the benchmarking results against different uh, maps. So our stretch goal is to simulate an automated warehouse scenario either using Gazebo or any other existing simulation frameworks. And we intend to implement the same three algorithms on these frameworks. So the preliminary work and results will be discussed further by Shiva. Uh, hello everyone. I'll start with the CBS algorithm. So which is the conflict-based search, the, the main algorithm which we have implemented. So the conflict-based search algorithm has been implemented in two levels. One is the high-level conflict-based search and the other is the low-level conflict-based search. So I will explain both of them right now. So uh, for the high-level conflict-based search, uh, the function takes a grid as the input and it returns the solution of the grid. I mean, if one exists. So you have multiple agents in the grid and a solution consists of the paths of each agent it's a dictionary of paths that means the where the keys are the agent ids and the values are the paths of each agent so this particular dictionary is returned by our high level conflict based search algorithm so uh, our high, in our high, le high level conflict based search algorithm uh, we initially invoke a low level initially invoke a low level conflict based search where a path is found for each agent that is independent of all other agents Initially, in the uh, there are no constraints on each agent, so it uh, it finds the best path that can be found for each agent. But we use the concept of conflict tree uh, in in our algorithm, where uh, we start detecting the conflicts once we get the low level conflict based search solution. Once we uh, detect the conflict, uh, so conflicts can be two types: one is edge conflict, and another is vertex conflict. Once we detect one of them whichever occurs first, what we do is we oppose certain constraints that a particular agent cannot be in a particular node at a particular time. And then explore the, uh, explore the paths of each agent again in the lower levels of the tree using those constraints. So uh, once we impose the constraints, we start calling the lower level CBS again. And this calling is done over and over until we find a solution. The moment we find a solution, we return the solution. So high level CBS returns the solution once it finds it. I mean, the solution that satisfies the constraints. So the low level CBS uh, is nothing but the A star algorithm. So uh, low level CB CBS takes the agent and 
uh, gives uh, agent and the grid and gives the uh, the path for that particular agent given the constraints on that particular agent. So we have developed a custom Pygame simulator to create an interactable simulator to configure custom maps and agent start and goal configurations through the Pygame environment. Users can easily change the size of the map, place or remove obstacles, and add or remove agent start and goal pairs. Once the user has finished setting up the environment, one can simply press a key to run the underlying MapF algorithm, which which returns the path of each agent if a collision-free solution can be found. Given the paths, the Pygame simulator can then animate the movement of each agent over each time step. Here, white cells represent empty grids, black cells represent obstacles, Colors, colored cells with numbers indicate the agents, colored cells with italic numbers indicates agent's goal. So these are the preliminary results that we have obtained. So in the first video, you can see that the agents are like four agents are simulated in a grid uh, containing obstacles and they manage to reach from the start to the goal positions. And in the second video, which I'm play playing right now, you can see that there are 10 agents being simulated simultaneously without any obstacles in the environment. So basically they manage to find their uh, the path a path from start to goal without colliding with each other during the travel so this is what we have achieved till now so, so this is the distribution and the timeline of our project so uh, okay we have uh, we have we are done with the literature and resources review we have developed the pygame interface we have implemented the conflict based search the next steps are implementing symmetry breaking, mutex propagation, ROS integration of simulator, and uh, we are planning to simulate a warehouse uh, environment using our map of algorithms, and then we will uh, perform benchmarking and evaluation. Thank you.